dear students let's continue with our top view so uh, in the top view we can see that this semi cylindrical part will be visible as a semi circle this cylindrical section will be visible as a circle this triangular rib triangular piece will be visible as a rectangle and this cylindrical part will be visible as a rectangle again so let's start with this semi circle and circles for this we need two center lines so this horizontal center line along the length over here will be drawn at a distance of 50 that is equals to radius so again let me copy it over here at a distance of radius that is 50 similarly we need to copy this line also to make another center line and that will be again equals to distance of radius that is 50 now these two center lines let us convert into the center line next is we can draw a circle over here by taking this intersecting point as a center so let's draw the circle draw circle center comma radius this will be the center point uh oh my hidden edge layer is on so let me keep my visible edge layer on circle center point and the radius you can give distance also and you can click a point now uh, we want a semicircle over here and this has been drawn as a circle so we need to we need to remove extra part from this so that is using print command tr double space this part and this part will be removed next we can draw two more circles so one will be one will be of a distance or a radius equals to 25 since diameter is 50 so let me give the radius 25 then another circle will be of the radius 60 okay now next we can draw rectangle for this for this what we can do is we can project it from side view to top view before we project let me draw a 45 degree incline line using projection line let's say from here to here okay and the next what we can do is we can project it from this side view to top view using ray command so draw ray make sure you are projecting through your quadrant point one then one more we have over here ray in this direction okay so that will be intersecting your 45 degree line and that we can project it over here again so again let's use ray over here so from this end to this end and then one more time we'll draw ray from here to here okay so now we got a position over here that is in this area we are supposed to draw a rectangle for this cylindrical part with the length equals to 30 fine so let us copy this line which is the end of our top view so if i copy this line inside by how much let's say 30 okay uh oh let us make it proper copy 30 distance okay done now we know that the rectangle for this particular cylindrical part will be over here because these two lines are the projection from the side view and this is the distance of 30 that is the length over here for this particular rectangle so let us draw or let us convert this into visible edge or uh, we to draw lines over there so let me draw lines like this okay we need to convert into visible edge so first visible edge then line from here to here then this this and this though i have drawn entire rectangle but we know that entire rectangle will not be visible because it will be broken in between over here because we have two edges getting into the cylinder two edges are over here 
one edge is this and one is overlapping behind this so this two edges will be visible from the top view and that are to be drawn from here and from here right okay so right now we have drawn it like this further we need to draw two more edges for the base plate that is one is this edge and second is this edge that is of the length 75 that we can draw from this end over here so visible edge layer is on giving a command of line and uh, starting from here distance will be equals to 75 over here similar edge you can draw and uh, on the top side also that will be of 75 again okay coming out of the command next what we need to do we need to get in from here along the width fine for this particular edge for this edge we need to get in but for width, what distance we are supposed to get in along the width so we know that this edge is nothing but the overlapping behind this edge in the side view so we will project that point that means using projection line layer and giving the command of ray to project it we know that it is this point so we will be drawing like this just make sure you are making the ray proper since your O snap is on it may get connected to any other point so from here to here okay now we will bring those two projection lines in the top view where it intersects to 45 degree line so repeat ray from this point to this side then again we will command the ray to draw one more from here the inner edge will be that okay so now we got these two more lines so what we need to do is we will draw a line from here so let us convert into this visible edge then line command will start from here and we will be drawing it till this because we know that these edges are up to this okay similarly we can draw one more edge on this side so line and then again till this point okay so now next is we need to draw two more lines at a distance of 10 from this end from here to here and from here to here and the, those two edges will be this edges one is over here and one is over here fine so let us copy those two lines so let's select the object give the command of copy okay just a minute okay again we'll do it line copy it will be asking for a base point so let's say this is my base point at a distance of 10 okay done similarly on the lower side so selecting the object repeating copy base point distance 10 and enter okay so coming out of the command this way you can draw your two lines for this inclined section over here this inclined section is being drawn over here by these two lines okay next we can draw our rib also rib will be visible as a rectangle over here so either you can bring it from the side view to top view or you can directly do it in the top view only like draw line command from this point let's say on 6 on this side since the length of the rib is uh, thickness of the rib is 12 so one will be over here then we will be copying this line at a distance of 12 okay now we don't want extra lines over that so you will be using print command tr double space fine and we will be removing this extra part okay now further we want a hidden line inside this rectangle because we have a circular cavity over here or cylindrical hole is there so for that again you can do one thing if you want you can bring this projection from this circle from the side view to top view the way we have taken previously for the outer circle or you can draw directly inside by copying this line inside so this line you can copy inside by uh, measuring the distance or you can use ray like this so let me use ray draw okay before going into ray let me convert into position line draw ray 
from which point are they doing it from this point okay once again we'll do the ray like this second click coming out of the command and we'll draw two more rays and that will be from intersection of the, the for the degree line so repeat ray from here to here okay coming out of the command again getting into the command like this okay done now we can draw two hidden lines over here so using hidden line layer hidden edges line from here to here okay coming out of the command again hit line command like this what you can do is again you can give match properties the way you have given it over here modify match properties source object and the destination object one over here one over here that's it then further from the top view see we are not able to see this edge that is being overlapped behind or below this edge but till it is overlapping what about the rest of the edge similarly we are not able to see this edge since it is overlapping below this edge rib edge right but till it is overlapping with rib what about remaining edge over here so those two edges are meeting at the point over here so from the top view we need to draw these two hidden lines after overlapping is over that means we are supposed to make two hidden lines from here to here and then here to here those two hidden edges so let me draw a line i'll be starting from this point okay and what distance is that i don't know it is for what distance so let me draw right now till this because i know it is supposed to intersect with this line so let me draw again from here to here this we can make properly like this and we can remove the remaining by trim like this okay done similarly we can write on the other side so line now you don't want to draw extra line you can use your otrack command like this and like this otrack i have explained earlier so now we have this two similarly we have one more edge going behind this point see we have a point over here and behind this point one edge will be going like this so that is not visible from the top view which is supposed to be hidden over here so let's make that line over here from this point to this point and again we need to convert this into different line type scheme so again what we can do is we can use our match property option modify match property then we have this source object destination object destination destination like this 